You're studying for exams and cleaning up the library to organize shelves of books in Athenium. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Athenium Mystic Library is a card drafting tile laying game for two to five players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. It's published by Renegade Game Studios and they sent us this copy to review. There's a main library board with player pawns, cards, and other items. Each player has a player board with spider tokens and is dealt a hand of cards. Here's a quick overview of Athenium. There are 10 rounds in the game. In a given round, players will be simultaneously playing a card from their hand, gaining benefits, also gaining benefits from their neighbor's cards, trying to also complete objectives to win the game. At the beginning of each round, everyone reveals a card from their hand. They gain the benefit in the bottom section of the card, and then the player to your left and right gain those things too, based on what's on the top left and top right of the card like book tiles, points, ways to rearrange books, and things like that. Then players place the books they gained on their shelves legally. Then see if they've completed any of the objective cards by seeing if the configuration of the books on your shelves match what's on the cards. You place one of your available wands on the objective card to show that you've completed it and score the points indicated. Then you'll pass your hand of cards, receive a new hand of cards, and start a new round. There's an A deck, that you'll use first for the first five rounds and a B deck for the last five rounds. One of the big differences between the A deck and the B deck is that the B deck has a lot more cards that let you rearrange your books, which is really helpful for completing the objectives. When a shelf is completely filled, you remove the spider and gain a one-time benefit like a wand, book of any color, or a side shelf, or even a bonus token. If you gain a bonus token, then you pick one out of the bag. Many of them are double books for your shelf, but there are also wands and additional shelves. If you don't like what you get, that's okay. You can flip the token over and use it as a candle. Place the candle above a shelf and you'll receive that number of points at the end of the game. You'll get other end game points too, like points for filling in your shelf compartments, any unused wands, and your favorite subject. At the top of your player board, it shows a color. You get a point for each book that matches that color, but they have to be adjacent to at least one other book of that color to score. And the person with the most points wins. Now you may be familiar with another library themed game from Renegade Game Studios called Ex Libris that's about collecting cards that have books on them. Some of the similarities between these two games is that you are trying to shelve books in the right spots. Of course, you're doing that with cards in Ex Libris and tiles in Athenium. The other similarity are the fun names that you have on the books. The books are divided into five main subjects, folklore and fiction, beastly textbooks, paranormal publications, biographies, and memoirs and rare manuscripts. Some of my favorites are Nowhere to Hide, Road Trip with Merlin, Tiny Houses for Giants, Another Thursday with Thor, Darn Those Meddling Kids, A Series of Side Quests, The Power of Negative Thinking, Gnomes and Time Management, but the gameplay between these two games is totally different. Melissa and I love games that have simultaneous play. Games like this keep the game moving, keeps players engaged, and this one has it plus you're getting benefits based on what other players are playing as well, and sometimes you're hoping that your neighbor plays a card that gives you just that right book that you need or something like that to complete an objective that you're working on. And there are decisions in the game. Should I get more wands? so I know I have enough to complete objectives, or go after more shelves to hold more books and things like that. In the short term decisions on what I do with the stuff I get, that turn is fun. So one critique for the game could be that there is maybe some randomness that you might not like. Uh, one could be the bonus tokens that are pulled from the game. The other one is players could be placing books on their shelves in a random sort of way, and all of a sudden a new objective card is revealed that gives you a lot of points and it magically fulfills that card and it's happened to me in a couple games. Good for that person, but bad for you. The components are good, there's a nice bag, and there's compartments for all the books too. 
I liked playing this game and I think Melissa liked it even more than I did. It's a nice mid-weight game, plays fairly quickly. I like it personally even more than Ex Libris. If you enjoy card drafting, simultaneous play, the tile laying, like the library theme, then check it out from Renegade Game Studios. And now all we have to do is figure out how to say the name. Athenium? Athenium? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And as always, please like and subscribe.